Every year, hundreds of thousands of Muslims from around the world travel to Saudi Arabia to express their faith in the pilgrimage pilgrimage known as Hajj. And here with me to discuss is Imam and Director of the Islamic Center of San Diego, Taha Hassan. Good morning. So good to see you. Good morning, Teresa, and thank you for having me. Oh, of course. So I'm from Claremont, and I'm very familiar with the Islamic Center of San Diego. It's so wonderful what the community does there. And we we're talking about this ritual that has been going on for centuries. Hajj 2022 and you were telling me about a big celebration that happened yesterday yes yes so uh, first of all thank you so much again and uh, Hajj is the uh, one of the five pillars of Islam it's it's a major ritual that Muslims men and women from all over the world who can afford it to uh, to do it to perform it at least uh, once a life and yesterday was uh, a great day that we call Eid al-Adha, which means the celebration of sacrifice. And it goes back to Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, when he was commanded by God to sacrifice his son. And then God didn't mean for Abraham to slaughter his son. So he uh, uh, offered Abraham uh, with a big ram to be sacrificed. Since then, uh, believers every year, they follow the legacy of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, by sacrificing an animal, usually it's a goat or a sheep, and also going to Mecca, the city of Mecca, where there is the holy mosque that was built also by Prophet Abraham. So we're talking about a ritual that goes back since the time of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. Okay, and Hajj started yesterday, it began yesterday, and it lasts for a few days and it ends on Tuesday. So during those few days, what do pilgrims do? So uh, Hajj consists of, uh, of course, being in the city of Mecca and the surrounding of Mecca because some of the rituals uh, take place inside the city of Mecca in the, in the Holy Mosque and few other rituals take place around Mecca uh, in a place called Arafah, in a place called Muzdalifah, in another place called Mina. So what we do over there, we go from a place to another and we perform uh, uh, some rituals following again the tradition of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, and after him, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So all what we do over there during those days, just we dedicate our time, our energy, our effort 100% just to please God by performing those acts of worship. We appreciate you sharing this ritual. What is the Islamic Center of San Diego doing to honor Hajj of 2022? Of course, uh, by the way, Hajj uh, changed during COVID uh, in, in a dramatic way. You know, uh, we're talking about pre-COVID, uh, about 3 million Muslims from all over the world attending pilgrimage. During, uh, in 2020, only 1,000 from inside Saudi Arabia. Last year, few thousands. This year, up to 1 million. There are some uh, San Diegans who are there, and I'm connecting with them. Before they left, I did uh, uh, a presentation with them, just explaining to them how to perform the rituals, and I'm in touch with them through WhatsApp. Uh, whenever they have a question, wherever they are in Mecca, they text me and I uh, respond to their questions and answer their questions. This is how we keep connection between us and our San Diegans who are there. So. Um, what we do at the Islamic Center, we inform those who go to Hajj, we give them presentations, we answer their questions, we provide them with guidance before they leave and during their time over there. And of course, when they come back, we will celebrate uh, with them uh, their achievement. Yeah, for our viewers who are not familiar with the Islamic Center of San Diego, it's located in Claremont near Balboa and Ashford. I live in the area. So you see a lot of members there a lot, a lot of gatherings there, not just over the weekend, but even mm -hmm. during the week. It's so great to see what a large community of members you have within the Islamic Center. Yeah, I mean, we have a large uh, Muslim community in San Diego, and the Islamic Center of San Diego in uh, Claremont is the largest mosque in San Diego County. So we have the five daily prayers, and people come five times a day, as early as 5 a.m., to offer their prayer over there. So we have a lot of people, and our community is very diverse. If you can see, you know, people, immigrants from all over the world, literally from all over the world, uh, coming over there, offering their prayers, uh, learning about their faith, socializing, and you know whatever they can do to uh, uh, um, you know provide the community. So this is what we do at the Islamic Center of San Diego. And by the way, 
The Islamic Center is not only for Muslims. We have a lot of non-Muslims, uh, school kids, uh, college students, uh, people from different houses of worship, churches, who come and have a tour and visit the Islamic Center. So this is a, an open invitation for everyone to come and visit us. I'm glad you're sharing that. And I love that because I have driven by so many times and I just hear from Claremont residents too and church communities that mm -hmm. your doors are always open at the of Islamic course. Center. And you are more than welcome to come and visit us. Thank you. And for you're those welcome. who want to learn more about Hajj 2022, how can they find that information? Um, there are uh, informations everywhere on uh, online. Um, they can go online and just Google Hajj 2022 and they can have live videos from Mecca just to see exactly what the pilgrims are doing over there. Uh, there are some TV channels that uh, uh, you know, show us uh, live 24 hours a day. So we, we follow the pilgrims over there in every step. We see what they are doing and you know, we ask them to pray for us and we pray for them. Uh, and Hajj ends on Tuesday. Yes. Shaha Hassan, thank you so much for your time. You're I appreciate very you being here. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. much.